It's cleaner that way. I like, I like it. Brett, I got to get over there. S to there, please. <laughs> Thanks. Brett Crow. I was, I was reminded of a quote uh, uh, by an author that I love, and I wanted to start the evening by sharing it with you. Uh, I'm going to hope I do it justice. I'm probably going to bugger it up, but give it a shot. It was, uh, babies, welcome to Earth. The summers are they're hot, and the, the winters are well, they're wet sometimes. On the outside, you've only got about 100 years, and all the time I've spent here, I've only found one actual rule. Babies, you have to be kind. It's uh, Vonnegut. And I love the idea. I love the idea that there's an orientation for the human race or anyone who wants to join it. Because I don't know about you, but this whole being a member of the human race thing is complicated. It's, it's hard. And there are, <laughs> there are moments, you know, any journey, I, you know, it doesn't matter if you're talking about theater or real life, you know, any journey you're on. There are times when you're doing a thing that you're doing, but the truth is you don't know what the hell you're doing at all for example. But I realize now a lot of people are looking at me and I've been, I've been at this a little while. I mean, I'm kind of working my way through this and you know, I, might, I might look like I know what I'm doing, which is awesome. But I'm guessing and I'm, I'm informed by all the experiences that got me here and that's great and that's exciting. But I'll tell you the truth, I have screwed it up plenty. Uh, you know, I, I, I didn't start by calling myself a clown. Actually, a, a, a guy who's much more wise than I am in, in the world, ways of the world and much more uh, classically trained called me a clown for the first time. And so I said, that's probably a good warning label. So I wore it. Thank you for that courtesy laugh. It meant a lot. It didn't hurt that it was so quiet in here. I'll continue if that's okay. Thank you. I can't remember. Oh, right. So, good warning label. And now I get to do neat things like, like work with kids. And the neat thing about that is I work with troubled kids, which is to say kids that are a lot like I was. I, they came from backgrounds that were, it's kind of hard. You can't skate around it, can you? They, they kind of sucked. Uh, we, can, we can pretend. We can say, oh, it's great. And uh, not always, not for everyone. Some of us were lucky, and that's awesome. But uh, I got to do this, and I got to be very carefully trained. Because again, when I started doing this, I didn't know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, very early on, and, I, and I'm not telling you this to talk about me. I swear, I'm going somewhere important. Stay with me, I promise. If you're wavering, we'll get there. But. Uh, when early on in the, the career of building all this, I don't just mean the show, I mean every community event, everything we do. I, uh, you know, I was at one of our events and I yelled at a kid. Yeah, I yelled at a kid, which meant instead of being this great guy who has a simple job, which is to make people laugh, I'm, I made a kid cry. That was the start of my career. And uh, the reason why I, I rambled on and tell you that is because I'm standing up here now after a lot of training and a lot of wisdom and a lot of hard-learned lessons. I like to pretend I can just wave all that away and just move on to the good stuff. Can't do it. You can't, you can't ever. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that was my Bruce Wayne moment where I decided to become something bigger than I am. I'm not going to say that. But I'll say it got me thinking because I realized what I did was a thing I just didn't want to do. I may have made another me. Not me now, me who I was, pissed off and angry. And now, you know, maybe there's some people in the world, some kids in the world who think I'm the scary clown who doesn't like, doesn't like little kids. Uh, the truth is I like kids. I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. They scare the hell out of me because they can see through all of this. I mean, there's a lot of cool artifice and costume. They see through all that. They look you right in the eye and they know who you are. They know exactly what you're about. These days, I'm lucky, they look me in the eye and they look at me in wonder because they go, wow, you're really screwed up and you got big. Maybe that's hope for me, which is nice, I think, if that's what they're saying. I mean, it may not. I, it doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter if I'm doing like this or I'm just walking down the street. Someone, some kid somewhere is, is looking at me now, and all I can think now in the back of my head is, don't screw up. 
don't, don't mess it up because you may be the first clown they ever see, may end up being the last. Well, like I said, I can't kick dirt under the rug of that. I can't pretend it didn't happen in the past. What I can say is that I chose to learn from it. And the reason why I bring it all up and bring it all full circle for you is tonight you're going to see people, they're going to get up on this stage. And I got news. I screwed up in a really bad place. It doesn't matter that I screwed up because a kid was endangered of their own actions and I ran in there to save the day. It doesn't matter. I still was, I did the wrong thing. I absolutely did the wrong thing. But I didn't have a safe environment to screw up. So I screwed up as best I could and tried to learn from it as best I could. Places like this are essential to creativity because I've got news. This place is made out of screw-ups. Everything we've done is screwing up. And it means that when we have a bad day, well, we're surrounded by people who go, okay, some days were bad. Okay. And when we have a good day, that's freaking awesome. When I have a good day here, I polish it up and I think about it, maybe I write it down and I take it out in the world and try to get in front of a kid and make them laugh. Because I like to think my superpower is making, making kids laugh. The truth is my superpower is probably closer to I make pretty girls cry. That was an awkward silence, wasn't it? <laughs> wasn't that a dark moment? People were like, oh, no. I can see that. I'm not going for sympathy, I'm going for honesty, and it's naked and hard. But when you, when you... <laughs> yeah, that's the good stuff right there. That's the good stuff because when I screw up a story, or when I, I lose my cool, and we have a real stupid moment, I know I'm surrounded by friends. Tonight, when the people come up here, when they do good, cheer for them, because we all need that. Our egos, this hat is extra large, so there's room for my ego in it, but the <laughs> performers need it too. And most of all, if they screw up, cheer for them twice as loud, because let's face it, that's when they need it most. I'm so glad I have a place like this. I'm so glad I get to share it with you. Welcome one and all to the place we call the open stage.